guys and welcome back to the weekly vlog. So you've had some footage before this because basically I've had a busy morning so I wasn't able to like properly introduce the vlog before film clips and we finally got a seat. I thought we'd get a seat straight away but we had to like search for better seats because we were sat about a mile apart. Couldn't actually have a conversation. So that obviously was not practical because why would you want to do an hour and a half train journey and not talk? That would be boring. But yeah, as you can tell from the title of the vlog, it is Hamilton Day, which is really exciting. Um, we booked these tickets back in like... January. January. Like ages ago. Ages and ages ago. We've had to wait like like yeah. nearly half a year to watch this. This is so exciting. So yeah, it's Hamilton Day. I can't wait. Um, everyone that's seen it before me has said that I'm going to love it. And I'm so excited. I'm still ill. If you've watched last week's vlog, which is my freshest vlog, you'll know that I've... I've been quite ill recently. Obviously, this is technically part of Freshers Week, but it's going to be a separate vlog as a theatre vlog, and it will have a review on the end. Um, it makes no sense to put it in the Freshers Week vlog because this is nothing to do with Freshers. But yeah, so as you know, I'm ill, so I'm sorry if my voice sounds awful. I'm sorry if I look awful. But you're just going to have to roll with it because it's Hamilton. Who cares what I look like? Because I'm going to see an amazing show. So I'm with Callum, if you didn't already know from all the footage before. Um, we're currently on our way to London. We're nearly at Gallagher Airport, which means we're only about half an hour away. So I'm really, really excited. I think we're going to grab some food and then make our way to the show because with Hamilton, you have to like um, go there like a lot before, like about an hour or two before you actually allowed into the show, like to, like before the half an hour call, basically, because you have to pick up your tickets and everyone has to do that. Like, there's not an option to have your tickets at the door. You have to like pick up your tickets. So yeah, we have to do that. So we're gonna grab some food and then go pick up our tickets. I'm really excited to make it. So we have just got into London, we've just got the train, and we've got ourselves a beastly McDonald's. Don't know why I call it beastly, don't ask why, I think it's because I'm hungry. So I went for six chicken nuggets, fries, and a strawberry milkshake. Callum went for a Big Mac, fries, and a strawberry milkshake. Yeah boy, I can't wait, I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go eat. So we were in McDonald's having like the quietest little dinner and all of a sudden this group of like teenagers were like oh my god that's them isn't it? And we were like what? So we spent our whole meal scared of who was now pointing at us and now they're following us. See the people behind my shoulder? That's them. Yeah that's them. We've been walking around in the same circle for about half an hour and they keep following us. I've been on the phone pretending that I'm on the phone someone else and um, they won't stop and you can still hear them now. It's quite jokes. Okay. I'm not who they think I am <laughs> and I don't really feel the need to explain myself to them so why shall I? But yeah, so we're currently on our way to Hamilton. Apparently. We'll eventually hopefully. find our way there, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully we'll be able to take a nice Snapchat of outside the building. <laughs> I highly doubt it at this point in time. But yeah, so hopefully we'll get there safe and sound and we won't get killed because we're gonna get killed. this is creepy. Yes. Next clip, I'll hopefully be group free of all these people. We even tried to hide in M&S. We went in one door and went out another and they were waiting at the other door. They're too clever too clever but yes yeah boy oh, it's just so funny it's jokes So, so good. Like everything is just 
on point. I don't want to say too much because obviously that's what the cow does at the end of the vlog. That's the point in him. But you have to just sometimes you just have to hand it out to an amazing cast because they're all so freaking talented and it's so annoying at the same time. But oh wow. Like there's one moment that I don't want to bring up just in this section of the vlog because it's just I can't. In It's Quite Uptown, um, Eliza's voice just cracked just a little bit and it it broke me a little bit. I bawled. I absolutely bawled. I was a melt. I was there crying my eyes out. It was so sad. <sighs> get yourself listening to that soundtrack and get yourself to Hamilton because it's an incredible show. Like so so incredible. Um, we managed to catch our last train home. We had 10 minutes to quickly get from the theatre to the train station. Luckily enough they're opposite so it was quite easy. Um, and we made it. Um, the only reason I say that is because Callum went to Heather's um, on Wednesday and he didn't make it straight home. He had to pay £100 from Horsham, which is actually where we're currently sat, so that's quite relevant that I'm speaking <laughs> about this. That's it for the vlog section of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed um, and we will now go on to see Theatre Cow. Welcome back to Theatre Review Time! <coughs> Hello and welcome to the review part of the vlog. I am Theatre Cow, not Vlogger Cow. We are very different. I'm intelligent, he's not. We're both not intelligent, but that's fine. So today I am reviewing Hamilton, which obviously you saw that I saw from the vlog. And wow, this has been like the hardest review to even think about filming. Like I've been, I've been going over this in my head for days, not knowing how to record the review. Like, it was just so amazing, like, I'm not going to lie to you, everything's going to be a 10. Like, in a sense, there's no point in me doing a review because it was just incredible, but I just want to give a little bit of my own experience and feedback for each point. So today is going to be probably quite a quick review, and that's not because I didn't enjoy the show or anything like that. It's because the show's so amazing that I want people to experience it, one, for themselves, and two... I can't put into words how I feel about Hamilton. Maybe I'll do a video in a few, like in a month's time, but it was so incredible that I, I honestly can't pick out moments that were just more incredible than others because I would be making a 40 minute video. And I don't know, if you guys want that, then let me know, but I'm pretty sure you don't. First of all, we are going to go on to casting. So for casting, we had only two covers. We had a cover, Eliza, and we had a cover, Hercules Mulligan slash Thomas Jefferson. So um, as our cast, we had Jamil Westman as Alexander Hamilton, Sharon Rose as Eliza Hamilton, Rachel John as Angelica Schuyler, Obium o Eugolia. I'm really bad at saying names, so I'm so sorry, as George Washington, Jason Pennycook as... Thomas Jefferson and Marcus de Lafitte. I'm really bad with names, even character names. I'm just not good with names at all. Um, Gab Gabriel Mokirk as Hercules Mulligan slash James Madison. Cleve September as John Lawrence and Philip Hamilton. And Mike Gibson as King George. And Christina Alden as Peggy Schuyler slash Maria Reynolds. Now the casting is literally on point. Even the covers, like you cannot tell their covers at all. Um, they are literally amazing. Like the Eliza, hands down, stole the show for me. Like she was incredible. I'll get onto that um, in sound in a minute. But there was just a moment in the show that she just truly took to the next level. So of course for casting, which is absolutely incredible. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Now on to set. The set is just amazing. Like everything, like it's so, it's kind of basic. When you think about it realistically, yes, it looks insane. Really, like it is just a few balconies, a few doors, um, an orchestra pit where something happens from and um, a set of stairs. Like not a lot. It's like not very intricate, but they bring on a lot of set. There's a lot of tables and stuff like that that's brought on and like benches and a bin and like all that kind of stuff. The way they use it and the way that they have characters in different places on the set and the organisation and the placing of people on the set. And even in dances, like the placing of um, the dancers 
like the ensemble dancers within songs I can't I can't even describe how they came up with that organization like it looks incredible so I'm gonna give that a 10 out of 10 now moving on to lighting the lighting is so good like it just gives everything like I know I always say I'm not a lighting person I don't understand lighting I can tell you the lighting is incredible there's a point in the show I won't spoil it but a lighting is triggered by something and it is absolutely hilarious and it's spot on and it's perfect and it's so so good like the lighting is so good Honestly, it, yeah, wow, 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 wow. And they use, like, candles and stuff like that. Like, it's a real sense of atmosphere is created within, like, this space that doesn't really change. Like, there is no, like, set on and off, like, different places. It is all just this one stage. Um, it's so good. So I'm going to give the lighting a 10 out of 10. Now for sound. Oh my god, the vocals were incredible. Like, I can't even describe how good their voices are. Like, it's so good. Um, I went in there with my favourite song being Satisfied. Yes, I cried all the way through Satisfied because it's my favourite song. And what? Don't at me, people. Jeez. Um, then Wait For It came on. Yeah. I broke. I, I crumbled and I cried and I died in my seat. I wasn't a hardcore fan of Wait For It before. Like, I would... I would listen to it, maybe skip it to go back to Satisfied or something like that. But wow, I have literally got it stuck in my head 24-7 now. I'm obsessed. It is so good. Um, and then it's Quiet Uptown. Holy moly. It is incredible. And this is the moment that I'm going to talk about our Eliza, the Sharon Rose. So she was a understudy taking in the role. Um, and boy, did she take her night. And she thought you could tell... She wanted it, like she knew she was performing that night and she was gonna take it home. It was in It's Quite Uptown, she sung one of the lines and her voice cracked, not in a nasty way, in like an emotional way. Wow. It's one of those things that only happens certain nights, it doesn't happen every night, it's just how it is. And we were so lucky to get that crack and get that emotion and honestly it was, it was a little bit heartbreaking, not gonna lie. Like, it was so sad, and that song as a whole is incredible. And the live orchestra are insane, and there's like some interaction with the orchestra at some point, um, and it's really great. They're incredible. So I'm gonna give music... So I'm gonna give sound a 10 out of 10. Now on to choreography. Boy, the choreography is so good! I know I keep saying this about everything, but the choreography is so slick, it's so insane, like... Wow, some of the stuff they do, I don't understand how they came up with it. How does... I can't. Lin-Manuel, what are you doing? How did you come up with Hamilton? Like, oh, it's just incredible. Like, the choreography is incredible. Like, it's so, so good. Like, everything. Like, the placing of the choreography, the way the choreography moves into the next movement, and it's just... It is so, so good. Like, honestly, choreography alone, that show is great. Never mind the story, the sound, the song, everything. It's just... It's perfect, and the choreography is so complimentary of the music. So, of course, I'm going to give choreography a 10 out of 10. And now onto my overall experience. I had the best experience at Hamilton. I want to go back right now. I literally, like, I'm so tempted the next time they release the next set of tickets to get some again because I enjoyed myself so much. It was the best experience I've ever had at the theatre. So, like, I really, really enjoyed it. I've never cried so much in my life. The last 15 minutes straight, I cried. I cried all the way through Satisfied because it was everything I wanted it to be. Um, and then just the how help helpless is in Satisfied, because obviously in Satisfied they talk about helpless, the way that they do all the choreography for that is just so, so good, like, honestly, it is insane, um, I've, I had the best experience, um, there was a bit of weirdness on the actual day of me getting stalked in London, so if you've skipped to this bit, I would go back to the rest of the vlog, because, um, your boy got stalked in London. I had the best time, so of course I'm going to give my overall experience for Hamilton a 10 out of 10. So, as the leaderboard stands, casting is a 10 out of 10, set is a 10 out of 10, lighting is a 10 out of 10, sound is a 10 out of 10, story is a 10 out of 10, choreography is a 10 out of 10, and overall experience is a 10 out of 10. Of course, Hamilton got the full sweep.
Thank you so much for watching this review section of the vlog. I hope you enjoyed. Um, definitely go down and see Hamilton. I'm sorry the review is short, but I just have so much to say and it was it's too long for just a little small review section of a video. So if you want to hear my full detailed review of Hamilton, um, then please let me know and I'll create a video just based on that. I also didn't want to give too much away about Hamilton because I feel like Hamilton in itself is a very special experience. Um, so I didn't want to ruin anyone's experience by giving too much away. So I hope you enjoyed this review section of the vlog and we'll take it all the way back to Vlogger Cow. Guitar review time. Over and out. So I'm a bad vlogger. I'm currently editing the vlog and realised I haven't ended it. So thank you all for watching. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. Hit the bell to get notifications when I post. And I'll see you again next week for another video. Goodbye.